Dios. Sold all your milk today, Bastanias. Oh, four franc fifty. Correct. Yeah. Fifty something, sir. We're done. Ah, thank you, sir. We pick up the full cans in the oh, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nello! Nello! Grandfather, and how good he is at it, too. Yeah, yeah, but I call you. But I did not hear you. Ah, ah, then it is my fault. I should have called louder, much louder. Let me see. Have you something in your eye? Ah, it could be paint. Come, we must get the empty milk cans back to our customers, huh? Did you see how I mixed the colors together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You expect your dog to pull that load all the way to the fair at Louvain, peddler. You better let him drink too. Did I ask you for advice? Ah, well, don't think about it. This is our best time of day, when our cart is empty. 
Did you see the frame of Frau von Tal put around the drawing I gave her? <laughs> a very fine frame. She must love that cat very much. You know, maybe if I made a drawing for Boss Miras, he would be more friendly, too. Now, 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 Nello, no more talk about drawings. Soon you will have more important things to dream about. I will? What? Well, I have some important friends in Antwerp. It has already been arranged that you are going to be an apprentice to him. An apprentice? Yes. To learn what? Well, you will know in good time. Now, don't worry. Just trust me, Nello. Trust me. What is that? Grandfather, look, it's a dog. He's not dead, Grandfather. Ah, a poor cat dog, cast away to die. Some people prove their belief in hell by showing its tortures to dumb animals. Come, my boy, there's little we can do. The dog is dying. But we should try. He needs help so badly. Yes, but if we restore him to health, what then? I'll find food for him. I promise. Nello, we're too poor as it is. We can't provide food for ourselves. But we can't just leave him here to die. Please, Grandfather. Pardon. One moment now, gently. Nello! Oh, hello, Lois. That's me now. Hello, my child. Oh! He's not dead. Grandfather and I found him in a ditch. Hmm. We're going to make him well. And we're going to try anyway. He looks so sick. Has he fainted? No, just hungry and beaten. Come, boy, we'd better get him home. As soon as he gets well, you can play with him anytime you want. Come. Now you bathe his muzzle. It's the first thing to do. Kindness of Mevrau Vental. He's feeling cooler already. Grandfather, may I name him Batrash? Name him what? Batrash. Is that a name for a dog? Oh, yes. It is what Peter Paul Rubens named his dog. Here, I'll show you. his dog, Petrosh, into many of his greatest masterpieces, including the deposition, which is in the cathedral. When did you see the pictures in the cathedral? I haven't yet, except for the assumption. 
It's in the choir and free for anyone to look at. See, the others cost a franc. Don't you like the name Petrash? Oh, it's a fine name. But, but... Petrash. Petrash. I'll have to practice saying it. <laughs> <laughs> to pet him. Ah, but he doesn't know that yet. <coughs> Your dog doesn't yet know the difference between kindness and cruelty. But... No, no but. Leave him alone. Don't touch him. Mello! He tried to drink some water. That's wonderful. I brought him a present. Oh. Oh. Come in, and we can give it to him. Then you learn to know that you're his friend, too. See what Aloys brought for Petrash? That's going to be his name. Petrash? It's a beautiful name. Uh, we save it for him. Yeah. You see, he can barely lap water, let alone munch on a fine bone like this. Well, you can see that, can't you? Grandfather is right. He's still very weak. How beautiful he is, even when he's sick. You see, the dog is still afraid of us. As far as he knows, we're just as cruel as his former master. I wouldn't hurt him. Neither would I. Now, children, you both want the dog to get well quickly, don't you? Yes, Grandfather. Well, then let him rest. Why don't you walk Lois back to her house? And by the time you come back, dinner will be ready. How will you know the bone was from me? Oh, well, I'll tell him. I'll tell him Lois left it for him. I'll tell him. Good night, my neighbor. Good night, my neighbor. Dog, there is something you must learn right away. If you're going to live here with my grandson and myself, you must learn this is a house of love. Small house, we are very poor. But here we all share alike, the good and the bad. I promise you this lovely bone will not be denied you, the present from the little Alois. But after it has added more flavor to our common stew, you agree? You agree. He will get well, won't he? Oh, of course. I'm sure of it. Will he always grow with us? Of course not. He just has to get to know and trust us. Oh, guess what? I saw a real artist today on the way home from Antwerp. Oh, you never saw anyone paint so quickly. The man Papa hides paint in the windmill was very fast, too. The man I'm talking about is an artist. An artist, not a house painter. He was painting a picture, a scene of all the people on the road. All the farmers going to the Kermis at Louvain. Uh, it was wonderful. Then he picked some colors up off a board and... You really think you'll become an artist? Hmm. I know I will. Well, I'd better be getting home to the Apatrasha. Bye. <laughs> You get busy today. I help Mama. Oh. He's still too weak to eat it, but I know he just loved it. What? Oh, Nelo and his grandfather found a sick dog today. Alois took a bone over to the animal. <laughs> Nelo has named him the trash. Isn't that a lovely name? You waste time running after that hat. And leave your mother to fix the supper all by herself. Mama said I could go. No, no excuses. She's too easy with you. Now, go wash yourself. Oh, 
Why did you speak so sharply to her? She did nothing wrong. You do something wrong. Haven't you any regard to her position here? How do you think it looks for the daughter of Bas Kogas to waste time with that boy? Oh, Franz, Nelo and Alois have been playmates. The time's come to discourage that. Nelo's a nice, a very nice boy. It's no sin that he and his grandfather are poor. Nor is it a sin for a father to want the best for his daughter. Franz, are you forbidding her to see Nelo? No, but I'm saying that you are to encourage her to see less of him and more of the other boys in the village. Those who have standing here. And prosperous futures. Now, now, your dog will get his bone in due time. The cooking's made it much better. Soften the marrow for him so he can munch on it. more flavor in it. Very good. Eat, boy. Yes, Grandfather. Grandfather, I'm not very hungry tonight. May I give the rest of my stew to Patrash? But you need it yourself, boy. I'm just not very hungry. Don't eat. How do I get him to eat? I told you before, boy, leave him alone. He'll eat when he's hungry. Now come on back to the table. I've lost my appetite. I'll eat half if you'll eat half. Trash ate all his food, every bite of it. I gave him some water during the night, and he only growled a little bit. Yeah, yeah, hurry, boy, hurry. That's a good sign, isn't it? On our way home from Antwerp today, we must keep our eye open for some firewood. I saw a whole heap of dead twigs by Boss Mulder's land. They're vine cuttings. They'll be fine for making charcoal to draw with. Every day begins and ends the same way here. I talk of firewood to cook with, he talks of charcoal to draw with. I'll only use a little, Grandfather. From Basmulder's land? Don't touch it. He'll say it belongs to him and add the price to our rent. Come, boy. Eat your breakfast. What about his breakfast? If he didn't eat his supper till the middle of the night, he doesn't need any breakfast. Now, remember what I told you, boy. We'll share with the dog, but he's not to deprive us of what we actually need. He can have his bone. That will be his dinner and his supper for today. That'll be fine. May I give it to him now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I 
doing a nice dog. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Time. I have a little something for you this morning. Nearly half a loaf, baked only yesterday. Thank you, Mavrao Vantal. Look, Grandfather. Ah, I've always said you should start a bakery. You bake the finest bread around here. You always know the nicest things to say when it does. Only to the nicest people, Mavrao Vantal. We'll run along. We're late this morning. Dog. Goodbye. Thank you. Make it a habit to rest a while and take advantage of all the things that cost us nothing. Nothing but the use of our eyes. I do that. That's what I do when I draw. Ah, uh, that's not what I mean. Just look. Look at that. The beautiful fountain of Cradle. There for all to see. There is the legend of Antwerp. Did I ever tell you the legend of Antwerp? The story. No, Grandfather. Uh, well. In ancient times, when this land was occupied by the Romans, a huge giant stood astride the whole city. He stood right over the river Shelby, and he demanded tribute from every ship that passed. The giant's name was Antigone. And if any of the passing mariners could not pay or would not pay, he cut off their right hand and threw it in the river. <laughs> That's how the city got its name. Antwerpen, in Flemish, means to throw a hand. <laughs> then there was a very brave Roman came along, and he wanted to fight. And Brabo cut off the hand of the great giant and threw it into the river. You see, Nello, look. See, the hand is gone. right here, so that I don't have to look for you when I come back. Where are we going? Never you mind. It's something very important. You stay right there. Now, don't you move from that spot.
Bergman here. Hello, hello. I've come to see my friend, Herky Smith, the master diamond cutter. I am Yehan Das. Yes? We are old friends, Keyes and I. We were in the army together. And Keyes told me that when my grandson was two months after his 12th birthday, that he would employ him as an apprentice. And today, it's two months. The boy's all ready. I can bring him in just a moment. I'm sorry, but Keith Smith was drowned in a boating accident three weeks ago. Drowned? He, he's dead? I did not know this. I... I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Ah, but what about my grandson? Is he... I can't do anything for him. Ah, but Keith promised. He said that he, if I brought him here, he would make him an apprentice. He can't keep any promise now. Uh, sir, you don't understand. Uh, you see, I have to get my leg better. It's getting worse all the time. I can't pull the milk cart much longer. And my boy is very smart. He's artistic, too. You see, he draws all the time. I can't do anything for you. I have to make that clear. But he's smarter than any boy you have in there. I know that. We have no place for any more apprentice diamond cutters. Now, please, don't give me any trouble, hmm? We'll take care of him when I'm gone. I agree with you. No good. You think you're an artist? Not yet, but I intend to be. Is it your desire or your mother's who thinks her angel face as a boy will replace Rubens as the demigod of Antwerp? I have no mother. There's too many dabblers. Oh. Well, you have your choice of my sympathy or congratulation. My emotions about the value of mothers are mixed. I saw you painting a picture about two weeks ago. It was in the field near the farm of Bostonier. I don't remember seeing you. But do you remember the picture? Well, I mostly remember how fast you painted. <laughs> well, I got a sign in my studio window. Piet van Gelder, the fastest painter in Antwerp. That'll get me business. I'm pleased to meet you, Meneer van Gelder. So that's all you remember. I paint with facility. Look, child. You not only lack knowledge of drawing, your perspective is all wrong. You scribble what you see rather than what you feel. And you still want to become an artist? I will be. I'm entering a picture in the Christmas contest this year. <laughs> you and every other runny nose who fancies himself a genius. Boy, I discourage you for your own good. To be an artist, one must give up everything but one's art. Everything takes more strength than most humans possess. You're too frail, boy. Uh, I'll grow up. I'm very strong for my age. Even grandfather says so. You shouldn't try to draw such a big picture on so small a scrap of paper. It's not enough just to see. You have to learn to feel what you see. Here. Study that. Learn something. You made it look so easy. And you did it so quickly. Remember, it doesn't have to be real, as long as it's true. What took you so long? What do you mean? I only took a moment to buy these. And you just stopped yelling at me. She walks like a palace guard. Hey! 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 Who would have believed that she could be a model? I think she's beautiful. What's your name? Nello. I love you, Nello. You're a gentleman. Not an ill-tempered devil like him. I have a right to be ill-tempered. All he remembered was how fast I paint. Come on. Look, Grandfather. Red lines were made by Meneer Pierre van Gelder. He talked to me. 
Do you remember the artist that was in Bastineer's Field? Yeah, yeah. We go now. Don't you even want to see? No, I don't want to hear any talk about painting of any kind. No drawing. If you must paint, paint something useful, something we can sell. I don't want to hear any more about painting. No, come now. No more. Look, Grandfather, the trash is waiting for him. Don't rush him, boy. Easy now. Easy. I won't hurt you, Patrash. Honest. Come on, boy. I only want to pet you. You see, as I told you, you must have patience. You cannot rush friendship with the dog. May I give him this? No, just part of it. The rest is your breakfast in the morning. Here, Petrai. It's very good. It was baked by Mervau Von Tal. You'll like it. Really, you will. Look at Grandfather. Did you see? He took it right from my hand. We'll be such good friends. You got the rent? Oh, yes, Vesmilder. But aren't you a day early? I'm on my way to an evening of cards with Bas Corgus. I thought I'd save myself the trouble of an extra trip tomorrow. You have a legal right to wait until tomorrow to pay it. If you wish. Oh, no, Basmata. Perhaps some month you will give us an extra day when I happen to be a little short. Uh, when did you get the dog? Oh, short time ago. We found him on the road to Antwerp. Somebody had beaten him and left him to die. Grandfather and I are making him well, Basmata. What have you decided about my offer? No. I have not changed my mind. Here is your rent, sir. It's a worthless piece. But my wife wants a brass bed. Five francs for it, Le Das. No, I will not sell. It is the last remnant of my love and marriage. I will not sell, never. Cash you can spend. Sentiment will buy nothing. I believe he'd steal this bed if he dared. Every month he comes for the rent. How much for the bed? How much for the bed? Uh, this fine bed, all my souvenirs, they'll be yours someday, my boy. Not much, but it's all I have. Did I ever tell you how the great general shook my hand and personally recommended that I be promoted? Yes, Grandfather. Uh, there we stood at horse, being reviewed, and I... I'd better tell you some other time. I'm much too tired now. Much too tired. Now you know I'm your friend. Here, Petrash, get out of that. Come on, we have to leave. Nello, take him in the house. He wants to help us, Grandfather. Uh-huh. 
No, I've always been against using a dog as a work animal. You're not a horse if you think you are. He does, though. He wants to help us. Huh? So be it, dog. If you want to share the work, all right. Nello, there are some straps under the bed. We'll see what he can do. Are you going to help? Are you really? Huh? Ah. I remember the day we found him, you said that he was a cart dog. Even so, Petrasha, we won't let you do all the work. We'll help a little, won't we, Grandfather? Ah, indeed we will. Put that on over that side. There we are. He's so happy to be working for us. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Here. Wait for this old man. Oh. Nello. Nello. Grandfather, what's the matter? Oh, it's my leg. It's no good for anything anymore. You stay here today. Petrosh and I can deliver the milk. You know we can. Here, I'll help you back in the house. No, no, boy. There's no time for that now. You and Petrash, you go along. Go along. Uh, you false friend, you. I know all the places to sell milk. And how do I know? You won't be stopping to play games. Oh, I won't. And besides, Petrosh and I will be able to get your milk to Antwerp much faster than ever before. Well, I'll try you a few times. You'd better sell all my milk, or mark my words, I'll make other arrangements. We'll sell all of it. How long will your grandfather be in bed? I don't think very long. You won't be sorry you trusted me. Come on, Petrosh. Centimes a ladle, and I gave you four ladles in the milk jug. Twenty centimes. That's what it amounts to be. I swear, boy. Here you are. Thank you. Your grandfather has changed. Mania Das is all right, hmm? His leg is bothering him a little today. That's all. Mm -hmm. That'll be 30 centimes. Mm -hmm. Danke sehr. Gentlemen, if you'll follow me, we'll go behind the transept where the curtains will be drawn. So you may view what is considered the greatest masterpiece Rubens ever painted.
that you pay a franc, as those other people have done, for the privilege of viewing the painting? No, Father. Did you have a franc today? I have some money from selling milk, but it's not mine to spend. Mm -hmm. Then it is like all the other times for you, isn't it? Now, this painting was taken from this cathedral in 1794 and removed to Paris. It was not recovered until after the fall of Napoleon. And it was reinstalled here in this cathedral of Onze Frauer in 1816. dogs and children, I ought to beat your brains against this wall. This dog is mine, I tell you. He lied. It's my dog. It's his. The dog is his. Come on, say it. It's his. It's his. I'll get him back. You'll see. Hmm. Well, cutting artist to deliver his milk. Oh, dear. Come along. Don't you worry. That sock threw his dog away for death. The law wouldn't give it back to him, even if he could prove it was his. Help yourself. You, uh, you go to church in the middle of the week? Oh. I was at the cathedral to see the Rubens again. So far, I've only seen the Assumption. It cost a franc to see the elevation. Uh, would it be all right if I took this with me? Oh, sure. So, you like Rubens, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Don't you? Oh, yes. I die of envy each time I see one of his paintings. Sometimes think Guido Reni was right about him. An Italian painter who so envied the way Rubens could paint human flesh, he declared the fellow mixed blood with his colors. Study the masters by all means, but live in the present. How beautiful this is, but just like dust. I thought most colors came mixed in a tube or, or in a pan. Mm-hmm, they do. But I prefer to grind my own, just like Rubens. And from his formula, too. There's a man who knew about the chemistry of color. That's why none of his paintings ever cracked. Mine don't either, but that is where the comparison ends. What uh, kind of color do you use, artist? Oh, I make my own too, sir. So far, I only have one. It's not really a paint, but it's a color, yellowish. And I can make green by adding a little charcoal dust. Mm -hmm. I remember you made green by mixing black and yellow that day I saw you in the field. What is this color you use? Iodine. I haven't yet picked out what to draw for the Christmas contest. Hardly matters. They've yet to select a picture worth looking at. With a judging committee composed of nothing but politicians and a few seedy art dealers. What can you expect? She has an awfully long neck, hasn't she? Is that a good drawing? Don't you know? Well, I think I like it. Good ass like good cooking. You can taste it, but you should never try to explain it. I know these are apples. But they're not like any I've ever seen. That Cezanne will one day buy me a villa in the south of France. 
That is, if I'm ever crazy enough to prefer a villa to that picture. Say, son, is he famous? As famous as Rubens? Good Lord, child. Don't you know anything except Rubens? How about the Bregels, the Van Dykes, huh? Hieronymus Bosch, Rembrandt, Dürer, Monet. Look at it. He's still alive, still painting. Learn of others, too. An artist does not have to be dead to teach you something. Hmm? And don't avoid the influence of any who appeal to you. Just remember, only blockheads copy. Sorry, I'm late. What took you so long? Oh. Now, don't tell me. I remember. How could I forget the young man who said I was beautiful? Nello, right? What did you do? Bite him? You already cost me half an hour of daylight. Now get your clothes off. Pete. It's all right. The boy claims to be an artist. He delivers milk, but he also draws, and he's got one color, iodine. He's got the face of a Rubens angel. I should paint him. Have you all gone mad with Rubens today? I'm losing light every minute. Cory! See what I put up with? You're justified in acting like a child. But he's supposed to be a full-grown man. You want my advice? Never get involved with a model. She's ruined my life. Ha! What, um... What do you try for in your drawings, boy? Well, mostly I just try to draw what I see. What a heartbreak you're in for when you finally learn to see what you draw. Just to know how to draw is not to draw well, you know. Any fool can learn how to draw. To be an artist, that's quite a different thing. picture I saw you painting in the field that day. I know that picture is smaller than yours, but why does it seem to be so much bigger? I save your dog from that hoodlum. I tend your wounds. I talk to you as if you were an equal, and all you do is insult me. Get out of my studio, you, you, you milkman, you, you and that flea-bit mongrel. Both of you, out! Come on, just a minute. You have pen, ink, and decent drawing paper? No, no Meneer Van Gelder. Here, take that and destroy yourself. Go, find out what you let yourself in for, you little... Get out of here! He's so mean to him. He's only a boy. He's a monster. didn't do anything. I didn't mean to make him angry. Listen to me, Angel. He isn't really angry with you. You see, his work isn't going very well lately. And he's much more angry at himself than with you or me or anyone. Honest. That's why he explodes once in a while. Understand? Forgive him, Nello. Come and see us again soon. Hmm? Thank you, Merval von Gelder. little orphan kid with a dying grandfather, living off God knows what. Yet he has that freshness of vision. Seems to belong only to children who find all the world new and bright and wonderful. Can I move now? No. 
stop talking. Why? Because I'm out your mouth. Can't draw it if you're moving it all the time. My nose itches. I have to scratch it. Well, all right. Hurry up, though. You know, you could never be an artist model. You can't stay still for two minutes. I wouldn't be an artist. Please. Please, Lois. Just hold still while I finish your mail. Can I talk now? Yes, but keep your head up. Could I go to Antwerp with you someday? And watch you sell the milk? Anytime you want. Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Keep your head up. Oh, that'll be wonderful. I'll fix a lunch to take along. And, Nello, can we go visit the studio of this artist, you know? Uh, I don't know. Why? I want to see how his wife poses. Nello, did you see her? Like that, I mean. No. Then how'd you know she goes around that way? I didn't say she did. You did so. You I just said I saw Manir Van Gelder's painting of her. Without her clothes on? An artist, that doesn't mean a thing. Huh. It doesn't. A model is a, a no more than a bowl of fruiter. Why even Rubens has used his wife as a model any number of times. Now, please, hold still. I'm almost finished. Drawing my portrait. You show very little regard for your mother. She says we'll come out to play. Leaving her to do the baking all by herself. Get yourself home, Alois. Go. Help your mother. Yes, Papa. Nello. It's wonderful. It's a likeness of Alois. I must admit that. Here. Take this in payment. Her mother will like it, I know. Oh, no, Bosco Guess. If you like the drawing, you may have it. I couldn't accept any money for it. I'm offering you a franc, boy. Well, you can have the picture for nothing. Thank you. You're welcome, Bosco Guess. says I can't get up. Well, you don't have to cook or anything. I'm taking care of you now. Well, indeed you are. And I'm very grateful to you. Hey, let him go! He's my dog! That's my dog, and I've taken him with me. You're lucky I don't have the law on you! Nello, boy. Petrage. That's the man who tried to steal him from me in Antwerp. Pa! That's Petrash. What's that man doing with Nello's dog? Perhaps they've sold him. Sold him? Nello and Minet, that's what never sell Petrash. Always stay out of it. It's none of your affair. <laughs> He's my dog. He's stealing for drugs. He 
you. I swear to you, the dog is my property. He lies, Vasco Gaz, he lies. The trash is no dog. Quiet, both of you. And how do you prove that? Prove it. I know my own dog. Don't I? Don't raise your voice to me. I'm known as Bas here. I'm the miller. Begging your pardon, sir. This girl pulled my cart. I'm a hardware merchant, sir. The cart? You are a peddler. I'm a peddler. Some months ago, I took pity on my dog and let him loose from a cart to rest beside the road. I went off to get him a pan of water. When he returned, he was gone, stolen from me. Lies! You remember how Grandfather and I found him? I remember how terrible he looked the day you brought him home. So beaten, so sick. You did have your own, Petrosh. You didn't deserve him. Left him by the road to die. You are a man of experience, sir. Will you believe that lying urchin rather than me? Will you unmuzzle the dog? If you were the kind master of this animal which you make yourself out to be, you have nothing to fear from him. I don't think a law would have much patience with a man who discarded his dumb beast, left it to die. I tell you, the cur wasn't left to die. It was only in need of water when it left him. to the house and stay there. to the authorities. Go home. Boss Kogis. Did you hear me? I told you to go home, leave. And don't come back, ever. I'm forbidding Alois to see you anymore. And don't come around here trying to see her. Understand? Now just stay away from here. Take these to Antwerp and sell them. Sell them? Yes, there's a few more inside. Sit down, boy. You are to take these things and put them in the cart with the others. But first we'll talk, huh? You didn't finish your painting. It wasn't worth finishing. It's hard to work when you haven't good tools, huh? I've been doing some more thinking. And I've come to a decision. 
I don't know why you want to become an artist. To a man like me, it's a very unreliable profession. But I will no longer try to discourage you. You are to take these things but into Antwerp. These are your. You are to take these things to Antwerp and sell them. And with the money, you are to buy the necessary things for you to become a good artist. No, Grandfather. No! Listen to me, boy. Soon you will be a man. Perhaps sooner than you should. But it will come, you will see. And when you become a man, you must learn what all men must learn. There is a time for all things. Time to be young, time to grow up, and a time to be old. Now, with this knowledge, we must also learn how to enjoy things. When to hold them close and when to let them go. So come, boy, let us pack up these old friends of ours. It's time they gave us both some pleasure. Enough money there for both of them. More than enough. I know. But I'm trying to save enough to see the Rubens in the cathedral. Doc was here. You stay here, Petrash. I may be gone for quite a long time. I've never seen so much Limburg cheese. Enjoy it, Grandfather. Oh, your artist friend must be very rich to give away so much cheese. This will last a long time. Have some, Nello. Mm -hmm. No, thank you, Grandfather. Well, try it. You'll like it. I can't get close enough to taste it. <laughs> Let me see what you bought. Only one brush? It's all I need. They're very expensive. So very little, huh? No, sir. No cheese. Next thing you'll be wanting is peacock's tongues and goose livers. Huh? <laughs> no cheese. No, no. This is the most important exhibit of the year. I have to be sure that the two paintings I submit are my best. My very best. No sense even considering this. How about this landscape? I like it. Me too. I like all of them. Help me. Don't flatter me. All right, that's a possibility. How about this one? I like it. Go ahead. You like everything? I do not. I like this one best of all. That? That's so small, nobody'd ever see it. Small? Seems as big as any of them. Besides, I've never even finished it. Do you remember how I fussed and fumed over this, Cory? I used to yell at her, damn you, Cory, your face is all wrong. It doesn't make rhyme or reason. It's always been one of my favorites. Why do you like it so much? I can't explain it. Try it. Well, I know it's a Mafra von Gelder, but there's just something... A, just, a, just a minute. Where'd you get the idea she was my wife? Isn't she? My wife? <laughs> Any artist who marries models a fool. Rubens married his model, and he was no fool. That has nothing... That, it, Rubens lived in a, in a time when... This is 1900, and, and things... You know something? You're very insolent. 
don't mean to be, sir. You're the one who's insolent. Insolent, insufferable, conceited, and... Oh, get yourself another mother. I better go. No, no, you stay right here. I, but I want... Don't worry, she'll be back. She has a very good thing here, and she knows it. She'll be back, don't you worry. You still drawing? Why? Because I like it. Oh, yes, the children's Christmas art contest. What are you entering, sir? I haven't created anything good enough to enter. Still paint with iodine? Yes, sir. Let's see what happens when you use paint. Knives? Sure. Knives, brushes, fingernails. I'd use my teeth if I thought it would help. Now, pick up some yellow and mix it with blue. You mix it as you get on the canvas. Go ahead. I'll clean it up. Come on. That's it. Green. You know how to make that green a bit grayer? Add red. Just a touch. People think only artists, composers, writers, poets, they think they're the only creative ones. They're wrong. A ditch digger is creative when he digs a straighter ditch. Now, you take the yellow and the red to make an orange. See? Now, you diminish it by adding blue. And you get a lovely sort of a gray. A mother who sews dresses for an infant is more creative than any artist who's ever lived. Is the man who made a chair that's good to sit in and fine to look at only a carpenter? Well, oh, he's an artist, too. Now, you take yellow, this yellow here, the yellow ochre, and add black. Yeah, smear it, you butter it onto the canvas. Look, there's your... Iodine and charcoal dust green, boy. A mason with his brick and stone is more of an artist than any sculptor because his art has a purpose. You can be creative without trying to be a painter, boy. You can save yourself a lot of heartache. So just trying to decide which one of your canvases will determine your reputation and your income for the next few years. Five more minutes to come back and apologize. You want some paints, boy? Help yourself. Here. Take that painting knife along, too. It'll keep you from getting finicky. Lovely face she has. Will these be all right? struggling with a painting and you'll be saying to yourself, better you should have given me opium than these colors. No, Pete. Minerva von Gelder. Go home now, boy. Come on, the drive.
got my purse. How can you do this to me? Don't you know I've been worried to death about you? Oh. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. You thought I might destroy myself, and you don't want anyone, even me, to deprive you of that pleasure. Don't say that, Corrie. I, I love you. I'm sorry. This is the only one I'll enter. Well, now, is the artist ready for his model? Oh, that's very pretty. Well, only the colors are pretty. It's a very bad drawing. Well, I wouldn't know about that. It looks fine to me. Oh, it's cold today. The sun feels good. I'm going to finish it this time. Trust, you get over by grandfather. You two hold still. Oh, that won't be a problem. You hear music? I think it comes from the mill. Oh, it's Alois's birthday. Put your hands in your lap like before. But you've always gone to Lois' birthday parties. Why aren't you at this one? I, I wasn't invited. Not invited? Why not? I don't see Alois anymore. Her father has forbidden it. What did you do, boy? I don't know. And besides, I wouldn't leave you to just go to an old birthday party. So it doesn't matter. Now, you two hold very still. Don't you make me look too old now. Well, I don't know what else to do. I better stop before I spoil it. It's done, Grandfather. Didn't make you look too old this time. Wake up, Grandfather. Before you catch... Grandfather!
I'm very sorry about your grandfather, Mallow. Thank you, Boss Mulder. But as I'm sure he must have taught you, life goes on, eh? About the rent. When grandfather... Well, Boss Miras and Boss Teneris, both of them had made other arrangements to sell their milk in Antwerp. So I heard. And the Fontals are moving to Brussels, eh? Where do you intend to get new customers? Well, Petrosh and I stop at new farms every day. I'm sure we can find some. Well, I hope you're right. But in the meantime, I'm sure you understand that I can't afford to let you or anyone else live here for nothing. I depend upon this rent for what little income I receive. Now, I don't want anyone to think that I threw you out, especially with the weather turning so cold as it has. In return for the brass bed, I'll let you stay here another month, even trade. Boss Mulder, let me show you something. I am entering this in the contest in Antwerp. If I should win, the prize is 200 francs. I'm taking it to Antwerp tomorrow, and the winner is announced on Christmas Day. But what if you don't win? Listen, boy, I'm being very fair with you. Do you know the law allows me to take possession of everything here, even the wood for the fire? A landlord denied his rent can do that. Now, if I were a cruel man, I could just order you to leave and simply take the bed. At least I'm offering you a month's free rent for it. I mean, please, don't take it tonight. Come get it in the morning, when I'm away. Put your name on it, eight, and you eight. I have a milk cart, and if you... I sent my milk to Antwerp with my brother-in-law. He has a wagon. Yeah, well, thank you. Manier, I have a cart, and my dog and I can get your milk into the city very early in the morning. I take it into town myself. Try it. 
trough. You may like it. Please, it's all we got. Father must have done something to make it taste better. I should have paid more attention to the way he cooked cabbage. But you must be patient. The day after tomorrow, we'll be rich. That's when they announce the results of the contest. Now, you must promise not to bark when the judge awards me the prize. <laughs> Uh, keep it on before you freeze your head off. Pardon, but is Meneer Van Gelder at home? No, he is in Amsterdam. Thank you, Meneer. Understand. I'm not asking for myself, but might you be able to spare a crust or a bone for my dog? Fine for us then. Who announces the winner? There is no announcement. The winning drawing is put on that easel. Outside says that you have a offering for a cabin boy. Have you ever been at sea before? No, sir. Hmm. Pay thirty francs a month, and the ship's the Great Stern. Sign out. Ship leaves tomorrow. Be aboard by six. Do they have dogs on the boat? Dogs? I have a dog. Dogs. Who is it? 
Costello. Nellie, where have you been? Come inside. Where's your father? Here, my mom went to Bass Smelter's house. Come on, it's freezing. last night and again this morning I've been so worried about you I haven't anything for you I don't care I made these myself they're mittens Aren't you going to open it? Merry Christmas, Nello. Thank you, Lois. You... You love Petrash? With all my heart. Oh! I'll find him a Christmas present. Wait. Will you look after him for me? Would your father let you do it? I knew he would, but I don't understand it. Why? I just can't take care of him any longer. Can't earn enough for his food, or promise he won't go hungry, or have to sleep in the cold. Where are you going? I don't know for sure. But away. Gave you his dog? He was crying when he left. What's to become of him? Stop sobbing, child. Where was he going? He said he didn't know, Papa. He said he couldn't earn enough to feed Petrosh anymore. I offered him food, but he wouldn't eat any. He just lies by the door. He could freeze to death on a night like this. Probably went back to that hut. I'll go and fetch him. Oh, Papa, please, please do. He needs help so badly. I'll bring him back. The boy won't starve, neither will his dog. Hold the dog. Good evening. Oh, there's Nello's dog. Uh, I'm Piet van Gelder. This is my wife, Mevrouw van Gelder. Please come in. Thank you. Uh, would you mind calling the little milkman, Nello? I'm going to take him to Antwerp with me. He's going to be my apprentice. This didn't win that stupid competition, but it should have. The boy's body was as big as his talent. He wouldn't fit into this room. Where is he? We don't know, sir. I was just about to go search for him. He left his dog with my daughter and disappeared. It's my intention to offer him a home here. Here? But what could he learn here? To be a miller. Grind wheat. Grind wheat? Oh, no, sir. He'll learn how to grind color. But first, we better find him. Where do you think he went? I bet if we let Petrash out, he could find him. I'll open the door and let him out. Do, do you really pose for artists? Only my husband. Trash, you want to find Nello. It is very important. <laughs>
Christmas night, for shame, boy. Christmas night of all times. Why aren't you at home with your family? I have no family. Oh. I suppose you still don't have a Frank. Sorry, Father. I only wanted to see the painting. I'm sorry. Wait a moment. You want to see this painting very much? Of course. So be it. My Christmas gift to you, son. <laughs> 